Hey, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Just want to talk to y'all for a second about something I was thinking about today. Um, I fish a lot. I live in a really pretty place. I'm very fortunate, as you can see around me. Um, but I fish out on the bay a lot. And uh, we have a great fishing pier here. But every time I go out there, I see a lot of trash. It kind of gathers up on the shore. The tide comes in and goes out. Stuff gets stuck in the sea oats and all that. And so I've been living here for three months. And every time I look at it, it's kind of one of those things that you think like, man, somebody should do something about that. And uh, I got to thinking about it today. I had some time. You know, it's a Saturday. I planned on fishing, but I figured I might as well take a bag out there with me and clean up a little garbage. And so, you know, I jumped down in the water and got up on the bank and picked up a bunch of bottles, picked up a bunch of plastic bags, plastic straws, uh, picked up four shoes, a bottle of full motor oil, a bottle of bleach, all kinds of random stuff out there, lots of bait bags. And I'm not like saying, I'm not trying to dump on anybody because stuff happens. Um, you know, like I said, I fish out there probably, I don't know, four day, three or four days a week if I'm lucky. And I've had stuff, you know, you know hook, container or something the wind comes up and uh, a little empty plastic bag from the hooks blows away or a little piece of paper off a tag or something when it's windy so it happens I understand it and that's uh, I think probably accumulation of a lot of time out there I saw I found stuff that's not even in being made anymore some kind of a spray can of something that I'm pretty sure was probably outlawed in the 90s so anyways you know stuff builds up but it made me think there's stuff that builds up over time and it took me probably 30 minutes to pick up, I don't know, this big laundry bag full of garbage, probably, there's probably 50 pounds of garbage or something. Um, and so it didn't take long. And so I've kind of, you know, hopefully a little bit erased a lot of problems in a short amount of time because I just decided that I was gonna do it rather than seeing something and turning my head and thinking, well, somebody should do something because I'm somebody and I can do something. So. I want you to kind of think about that and think about it and stuff you see around you too. And, you know, if, if that's picking up garbage, that's great, but that's not all it's about. There are other things that I think a lot of us go through life and we look at and say, you know, somebody should do something about that. We see a problem. You see somebody at school being bullied and you think somebody should do something about that. Or, you know, maybe it is. You, you live in a place where you see a lot of garbage and you, you think somebody should clean that up. Well, you're somebody, so why can't you do it? You know, why can't you stick up for somebody else or why can't you pick up the trash or whatever it is and, and you know maybe it doesn't take you long to erase the accumulation of a lot of problems over a lot of time so you know I've, I've talked to people in the past and I tell them any situation you go into you have the ability to have a massive impact and uh, I really strongly believe that you just have to make up your mind to do it so today I made up the mind to uh, do something about where I am and try to keep this place beautiful as it is. I mean, really you're fortunate enough to be in a place like this and we're, we're all very blessed to live in a place that you know, most of us can enjoy and I wanna keep places like this clean for other people that wanna be here too. So, um, you know, maybe think about that. Think about the power you can have to impact the world around you and realize the next time you see something and think somebody should do something about that, that you are somebody and you can do something. As always, do the right thing.